Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Uh, a question was asked, Assalamu alaikum ya Habib. Uh, for the past few months, I am have not been feeling, uh, you know, the Quran hasn't been touching my heart. So in general, the ulama, they speak about this a lot. And one of the things that you should strive your best to do is just continue. Don't let the shaitan whisper to you. Don't let your nafs whisper to you because that happens to many of us, especially those who are who are less in tune aslan with the Quran, who don't have that regular relationship with the Quran, who aren't reading and reciting and memorizing and reflecting and studying the Quran, then it's easy for our hearts to become uh, tainted with so much other things going on in this world. So it's imperative that you establish that relationship with 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 uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your in the Quran, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance, <clears throat> reciting the Quran, you know, t take out, give give yourself at least a few minutes every day, get yourself a, a little program and read those verses that do that really reflect, even if you don't know the tafsir or you, you're not going into the tafsir, but they just have a general meaning that really touches you. For me, when I was a new Muslim, uh, Surat Al-Alam uh, Nashrah uh, Laka Sadrak. That used to really, it meant something to me. I knew no idea about tafsir, nothing. I, I had my own tafsir. But the point was the zahir of the meaning at the end of the surah, you know. So, so when you uh, have, you know, freed, uh, when you have finished your work, basically, then you take some time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that meant, and then the in the ma'alus yusra. You know, with every difficulty, there is relief. Those verses they meant so much to me. I still, when I recite and and think of those uh, verses, I, I remember those times. You know, when I didn't have any knowledge and I didn't, I was new to the deen, but it meant something to me. So try to take those things which do, which will remind you, and you know, just you just have to engage with the Quran and be careful of other things that. Because a, a, more often than not, what we find is when we're in that situation, it's because we're doing so many other things. We're putting so many other things, maybe music, maybe movies, maybe all kind of thing, maybe much worse than both of those things. And those things for sure will seal the heart and they will make the Quran less appealing. It's hard for you to, when your heart is tainted with, with hip hop, for example, uh, or, or whatever it is, it's hard to break away and... Uh, 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 have the, the same kind of uh, it fitting with your desires, the Quran. You know, so that's why, you know, they, they say the, the music is the, is the Quran of the shaitan. So this is a big topic. So I hope that that can help. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.